Take two, go. If you were to start a new venture today, these are the four Facebook campaigns to have in place. Again, if someone were starting a new venture today, these are the four Facebook campaigns that you need to have in place. And these are the Facebook advertising campaigns. So that's what you have to look forward to. I'm going to give you a little bit more of a teaser as well. This comes from none other than John Parks of of a click funnels fame. So I am in the what's called the two comma club X and um, it's Russell Brunson's and click funnels uh, training a uh, coaching program. It's super cool. It's super awesome. We get to jump on at least a couple of trainings a month. And today I got to jump on two. Um, one was with John Parks. He runs Facebook advertising for ClickFunnels and um, they spend a lot of money on Facebook ads and they know what they're doing. Okay. So here we go. So I was on this training today, um, the the 2CCX coaching, and this is live training with with John Parks, who again is, uh, I don't know what his title is, but he's doing all the Facebook ads for ClickFunnels. And if you are unfamiliar with ClickFunnels, they're direct response marketing software. They have some of the, they have great software for that. Some premier software for that. They're um, leaders in the field on uh, giving you the tools you need to uh, thrive with funnels and direct response marketing <laughs> on the interweb. Uh, lots of cool stuff. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I want to go down this rabbit hole. Time check. And this is definitely part one. Anyhow, uh, so ClickFunnels. Google it. If you're unfamiliar with ClickFunnels, Google ClickFunnels. Google Russell Brunson. Heck, Google John Parks. You know, Google Funnel Marketing. Um, and you will see some really cool stuff. These guys, again, are leaders in the game on, on online marketing um, for their style. Uh, there's other players as well, um, but uh, where do I want to go with this? Um, and when when I say funnels, we don't want to confuse like a traditional sales funnel, right? I'm a I'm a sales guy, um, love sales. I was in sales as a career uh, for 20 years. Uh, first as um, financial services as a retail commodities broker. Boiler room telemarketing basically is what that was. That's how I cut my teeth. Um, <laughs> do I say that proudly? Um, other than that, I survived it and I tried to do it. Um, uh, uh, it's just a, that's a crazy business said with love. So I got to do that for two or three years. Um, I have a ton of stories around that, um, but I cut my teeth on old school boiler room telemarketing and then uh got hired out of there into the 2000.com bu bubble and got to sell tech products data co-location for a few years um and that's where i went started doing door-to-door -door. i would do i would do phone campaigns um and then also uh door-to-door -door sales so i was walking into the dot coms in the san francisco bay area uh Asking to speak speak to the you know the CEO the CTO the general manager uh, CTO chief technology officer uh, CIO chief information officers all these all these C titles and they were all over the place the money was flowing but uh, I got to learn how to sell uh, walking in and asking to meet people and uh, did that for a few years and then serendipitously. That means by a stroke of luck and begrudgingly in 2001, tail end of 2001, I ended up in mortgage as a home loan officer. It was the only job I could get. My brother-in-law was a manager of a Wells Fargo home loan office in um, Oceanside, California. So from uh, San Francisco Bay Area to Oceanside. 
to where I worked to North County, San Diego, which is Encinitas, Carlsbad, Del Mar, all that area. It's where I landed and thrived in home loans uh, for 15 years. There you go. There's there's the uh, the picture. Thank you for listening <laughs> to that. <laughs> but I I lay that as the framework of sales. Like and in mortgages, I was running teams of telemarketers doing a ton of telemarketing on my own. Lots of mailers to generate to get the phone to ring. Um, you know, emails, all that stuff. Um, but you talk about sales funnels. But a traditional sales funnel, like you call 120 people and then, you know, 10 are interested and then, you know, two say yes and X say no. And you've got this funnel, right? And you follow up, follow up, follow up. And um, it's like that traditional sales funnel. Uh, Some people have longer sales cycles. I did best. I do best in short sales cycles, it seems. But more of that funnel. So but we've got funnels in tech land or on, in the, on the interweb sales funnels. And what happens is um, somebody goes onto the landing page. Hopefully you craft a good story that entices them to, to, uh, you know, to buy. And then there's upsells and downsells and all sorts of things. It's a funnel. Or you tell the story and then somebody books a sales call. So there's, you know, there's lead funnels, sales funnels, application funnels, card funnels, all these funnels designed to maximize sales and maximize interaction with your customers. And I love it. I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's a great way to sell. I'm all in on it. I love it. I, three years ago, four years ago, stumbled across, uh, Russell Brunson, you know, dot com secrets and uh, launch. I never got this book though, but someone recommended launch. Um, But I was in the middle of getting my kids through high school. So I was a stay at home dadding, single stay at home dadding, and was clear now was not the time. Then wasn't the time. A couple more serendipitous events, lucky, lucky events, coincidental events. That's what serendipitous is like saying coincidental. Um, I end up a year ago in in uh, Russell Brunson land because uh, he's <laughs> one of the best marketers in the world. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is going to be like a four part, a four part, a four part series. But I just want to lay the foundation. Um, um, where am I going? Uh, but yeah, so. A uh, year and a half ago ish, I was like, "Yeah, now's the time. Kids are out of high school. It's time for Misha's creativity to re rebirth uh, uh, in funnel land, internet land. Definitely no desire for me to go back to mortgages for whatever reason. I gave up my seat for good. I had a ton of success in mortgages, um, but uh, but I've mentored a one or two people along the way just helped get them going and and uh but not my time to be in that business anymore again sacrificed my seat or or gladly gave away my mortgage loan officer seat so i've been all in the uh funnel game for about a little over a little over a year and again part of that is being in the two comma club X, you can Google that too. You could literally type in the number two, C, C, X, and see what comes up. It's an awesome coaching program. Um, I will get to John Parks and the uh, the Facebook campaign stuff, but perhaps we're going to have to wait for another episode uh, till episode two. Um, because I want to talk about the power of coaching the power of coaching and the, the, the power of um, a good, you know, mastermind style group. Now this, the two CCX is, is, is the second uh, Russell Brunson also has his inner circle. So that's like the highest level. That's for the, the super 
achievers, the super successful ones that that are 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 they've hit a certain their businesses hit a certain level, and um, yeah, you are having success. You know how to craft a story. You know how to sell, and your product serves a niche very well. Uh, when you land in the inner circle, for sure, um, you you are you're you're figuring it out well like your um it's not cheap uh anyhow i I just say that just to again set the groundwork uh for what i'm talking about what's going on and so coaching it's the first time in my life i've really invested in a coach and a and and coaching to this level but it's expensive it's um it's uh but it's powerful what can i say uh you know the the investing in yourself like i was more of a loan operator and uh i bought lots of tapes and courses and i would i've done many of those and as far as my business career is con- excuse me is concerned but i never i took the next level where you got personal coaching and so uh what else can i say about that um I mean, I've had great mentors. I had Darren, my mentor in the loan business, uh, amazing. Like, wow, he laid the foundation for me uh, to have a ton of success and just, just a good, good man. And and really just, whew, I, I I don't know what else to say. So I, I've had great mentors along the way in the in the um, in the you know, financial services, met a couple of good guys. Uh, one guy just really, yeah, I, I, what's his name? I can't remember. It's a while ago. Um, and if I had this episode more together, I would tell you specifically what I learned from them, but, uh, I'll save that. I'll save that for other episodes. Um, but I've never done like the paid for coaching. So, all the mentors I've had in sales and business um, have been within the company and uh, which is awesome. And then, you know, Zig Ziglar, I was all in on Zig Ziglar and all that era of tapes and courses and, and all those things. So Holy Toledo. So now I'm have invested in um, the two CCX and I just, the knowledge and the access to, people who are are really good at what they do top of their game um, who are, you know, people to learn from the, the networking. It's crazy. It's awesome. I was on a call with the, the, the Facebook, you know, the dude who does Facebook, um, marketing for, uh, for click funnels. That's a big budget. I'd tell you what the budget is, the monthly budget. It's a lot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Anyway, I- I'm going to end that episode with this and say, hey, uh, it's, where, it's where I am. It's, it's the people I'm hanging out with. Uh, there'll be a part of the, this little one, two, three, four part series where, uh, you know, I'll talk about the the coaching class I was on with Russell Brunson. There was 30 of us on there, like chatting with Russell Brunson and then people who had um, specific questions about what they were doing, got to talk uh, with Russell and get inspired genius ideas. And there's dialogue going back and forth. And um, I'm sure you've seen the videos going around, but but uh, you know Russell and his and his company. You know the, the people that he started it with. I, I think they were offered over a billion dollars for their company, and they turned it down. And so these are like serious, seriously smart marketers and business people. If that doesn't get you excited, then. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else to do to uh, open the loop. <laughs> but I'm going to talk about what I learned today and and share it with you. Um, there you go. So that's part one. 
listen to part at least two and three because we're going to have a John Parks part two and most likely a Russell Brunson part three and perhaps a part four. But anyway, there you go. Uh, enjoy the day and listen to the next two episodes for sure. Peace out. Love to all. Na 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 na